Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to bring you a roundup of the 2024 trend predictions that I have and also just maybe some that I'm going to be wearing. So we're just going to talk about what to expect for 2024 as far as fashion and what to wear. So if you guys want to see it, then let's keep watching. One of the trends that we see even right now at the beginning of the year, it's kind of carrying on from a little bit of last year, is this kind of like girl core with a lot of bows, a lot of like ruffles, as well as just floral everything. So not like floral as far as the print and floral, but more like trying to emulate a flower as like the texture of your body so i feel like i see a lot of this and just like every single thing so there's socks with like little cute bows on it i've seen someone have a hat with bows um even tops that have a lot of like bows on it and i love this style it can be a really really extravagant like huge big bow or it can be like a lot of small little dainty ones which i really like too and i think that's a cool way to just incorporate kind of texture in your outfit that may be basic um, even bows in the hair it's kind of like that ballerina type of style and it's a very cute girly touch um, for an outfit if, especially if it's like a streetwear outfit or more like tomboy style outfit and you add a bow it's like it's such a very good juxtaposition for an outfit so that's definitely one that I'm going to be taking part in I love that and I, I love just different ways to kind of spice up your outfit and I think this is such a cute way that I can literally emulate and it's a good representation of myself because I also tend to be like both girly and sometimes more like on masculine side dressing like or streetwear dressing as well so I like that I can incorporate that now like this idea of the bows more accessible I can get I used to love growing up and seeing those little frilly socks um with like the bows on it that's such a cute touch as well especially when you wear it with sneakers it's so cute so even for example we see it in the, this bag I got last year from Ulta Linger, I saw this here. It has a, a bows inside and I love this juxtaposition too because the chains are like kind of more like grunge and then the bows just kind of bring that girly touch in it. So that's kind of how I'm going to incorporate it this entire girl core trend. I'm not going to go super girly and change my whole entire style. But trends are really cool because you're able to kind of see ways in which you can participate I guess in like what the world is doing and being relevant but also make it your own so that's kind of a way like already I have it and I'm sure I have other things that I can already incorporate like different ribbons and stuff that I can put in my hair or just around my socks or whatever it is I don't have to go out and purchase things so that's a good way to incorporate trends into your everyday you know routine also been seeing a lot of like the pink bows as well and I feel like that's kind of coming off the like Barbie core that was going on and obviously you know we're kind of over that barbie stuff but now <laughs> it's more like the digestible pinks the just like slight subtle pastel pinks which i like and bows usually come in that style so that's really cute colorway or you can also you know do things that are unexpected with the bows um even incorporating red steel or a black or maybe a plaid bow something that has more of style or uh personality like texture in the bow as well so kind of you know going off of that even with the girl core there is different um things like ruffles as well to your socks or in your accessories are mainly what i'm trying to go for but they're also pieces statement pieces and brands are making um outfits or pieces that have this already incorporated in it as well so if you're looking to shop for new things you can or you can also just try to maybe have a pin i love like pins because you're able to just Clamp it onto your shirt or, you know, manipulate your clothes to make it look cute. Um, so you can have a pin with a bow on it as well. Just like adding charms or whatever you want to make it more, I guess, girly. Also, I'm referencing Glamour Magazine because they have a bunch of trends right now for 2024. Um, and also just kind of things that I think that I probably want to participate in for 2024 that I want to prioritize in my style. So hopefully I've achieved some of these things and hopefully it helps you when you're shopping for 2024. Another trend is non-basic basics. I love this because I've already been doing this. In 2023, I was like, uh, I just need to have more staple pieces, but I'm not a very like basic girl. Like I love a good statement piece. So having staple pieces that may not always be a statement, it can be a statement, but it doesn't have to be, but they're just non-basic. So say for example, you have a black top, but it has some texture in it, or it has a different shape. Whatever it is that you're incorporating, it doesn't have to be boring. Um, or you have a color as well that makes it not boring. Whatever you are doing with your basic that you need a tee and like shorts or, you know, those kind of staple pieces in your wardrobe, having something that elevates it a little bit more. Okay, here are two examples for pants. 
Um, the first example is this Y Project pair of pants. And I love these because it has like a two-tone type of vibe here. And the back is just also kind of two-tone. So, this is like a non-basic basic to me because I can wear this with so many different things. But obviously, this little design here is a juxtaposition of a regular, just basic pair of either black or either denim, you know, blue, light blue denim pants. This is kind of like the style that I like for when I'm shopping for like non-basic basics. I wear these, when I first got these, I wore these like almost every single day after and I plan on wearing them pretty much the entire 2024. So this is like one of my favorite purchases of 2023, um, at the end, tail end of 2023. As well as another pair of denim, which is from Mason Margiela. And it's kind of similar style. This is like this two-tone uh, paneling of inside out here and then the normal uh, denim, like a medium wash jean. I wear these so much, like probably once a week. So this was definitely a great purchase and it's always a non-basic basic. So I wear this as a pair of denim jeans, but obviously this little detail here makes it more and less basic. <laughs> also, I get compliments on those a bunch because, you know, that's a staple piece that most people are used to seeing, but it's just a little element that makes it go a little bit above and beyond. So look for those pieces when you are shopping for 2024. It's good to have staples. Obviously, I have a good pair of uh, denim jeans for myself but having these non-basic bases I gravitate towards them more because you know they're more my style and they're just a simple way of elevating your outfit without trying too hard. Next trend is sheer layering and I love this trend. I was looking um in Dover Street Market and I saw this like Mason Margiela's top and it had like a white top black sheer over over under over top and I think the underneath layer was like textured I love that I love the sheer layering because you still get to see the basis of your outfit because the sheer or like the mesh but you get to layer it and that's a great <laughs> that's a great example of like you know elevating your outfit so I'm excited to see how brands are going to incorporate this into like not only pieces that they make or just like pieces that they sell by themselves like the sheer part or if it's coming already like the composition I saw with the Mason Margiela's top I want to see how they're going to do that and how I'm going to incorporate it. I know I definitely will incorporate this into my style. I'm just not too sure how. I also love when people have like um, for sheer layering like just like a huge oversized like kind of like a dress and it just kind of flows really well with their outfit. That's such a cute touch to do um, or even just trying to make it more textured so you have like ruffling of the sheer or off the shoulders. Whatever you want to do for the sheer layering I think it's going to be super cute. Um, I'm excited at how I'm going to do it. I don't have no idea. I don't really have too many pieces that are sheer that I can incorporate right now. At least I don't think. But usually when I go into look in my closet, then I'm like, oh, I actually have a bunch of stuff. So <laughs> we will see how I actually incorporate this throughout 2024. Oh, I love this trend. This is like the extra large bags. I'm obsessed with like a big speedy bag. I think that's what I'm into right now. Um, the like kind of bigger tote bags as well is something, you know, that a lot of people are featuring. Obviously, I love a good like kind of small bag. Like some of the bags that I just recently picked up. Let me show you. Here is one from Brandon Blackwood. It's like a little metal. This thing's like pretty heavy. It's like a metal um, piece. But see, this is like a very small bag and you can't really fit so, so much in here. You could probably fit your essentials. But if you are like going and working or whatever, you're not going to be able to fit obviously your laptop. So having bigger bags that are still in style that can fit all of your necessities, like every single thing, are, is going to be in because we're more into the working style. Um, I guess when COVID was here, we were doing more of the like not fu non-functional but really cute things but now we're going more into the functional and i think that's going to be super cute to see brands incorporate that in um what they release because uh, i'm in need of some bigger bags <laughs> i'd really struggle right now my room is full of like small bags um which i love but i need a bigger bag as well whenever i do go work i just use this like tote bag that i always have and it would be nice to have my outfits still be able to shine with um a few larger bags that are still fashionable we're also seeing the kitten heel get like smaller and smaller and um, i'm not really a heels girl so i don't really mind this uh i know people think kitten heels are like kind of ugly they can be but i feel like since the trend is coming back they're like incorporating it to be a little bit more um uh, different than before i guess or it might just be the same and we are just re recycling things so we are bored <laughs> But um, some of the things that I like are like the flats. I don't think they're going to go anywhere this year. Um, like the more flatter shoes is kind of what it's going. So the kitten heels and like flats. 
those are the two style shoes that I really see are really really popular so my opinion on this I probably will invest in some flats because I feel like Sometimes fashion like make your feet hurt and like I don't really want to suffer that much. So getting a pair of shoes, you know, outside of my sneakers that I can wear all the time is going to be great. Um, for kitten heels, hmm, I have to really be sold on it. Like I have to get some that like just I really like because I'm not a heel girl in general. So yeah, if I'm going to do a heel, it's usually like a boot or, you know, something like that. But I don't usually do heels in general. So I might pass on that one just depending on what is released but I do have a uh, one pair of kitten heels that come to mind I'll show you guys right now so here are the Melissa and Y project um, collab and see this is what I mean so right here they're kind of making it a little different than the like normal kitten heel it's very like detailed and it's like giving Cinderella slipper so <laughs> yeah I think that's like what I mean if I'm gonna participate in the kitten heel it has to be something just a little bit more I guess extravagant I don't really know the word for it but yeah, I'm not really a, a heels girl, so I do wear these, mm, like, moderately. I wouldn't say I wear them too, too much, but I don't, like, let them sit in my closet, for sure. So, yeah, hopefully I will invest in some other pair of shoes that will serve the purpose in 2024. Because <laughs> there are times where you just need a little heel or something like that. Like, you don't want your feet to hurt, but the outfit calls for something a little bit more dressy. Or a little ele elevated, even if it is a chill outfit, you just need something a little bit more. So I think, you know, just finding the right pair for me this year will be probably, like, the goal. We're also seeing, like, drop waist. So I've seen this in, like, kind of dresses a lot or even I've seen, like, in, like, jumpsuits as well. Um, so we're seeing drop waist. And I think it's really, it can be done really, really well. Um, I'm not sure how it would look on me. I have no idea because I want to try to have more of an illusion in my hips and I don't know if that's going to do that or not but I like what I see from like just the runway styles um but I don't know I'm just trying to figure out how that will really work and also I don't wear dresses too too often um so I'm trying to see if this is going to work for my style but just to know to look out for a lot of drop style dresses I think that's going to be such a cool Thing because we don't see that often so getting it while you can to get like a very unique style maybe archive piece will be cool um, I'm not sure how long this trend will carry out but for 2024 it's definitely on the prediction and hmm, I just want to see how it's gonna go like what's gonna give you know it's like girls with like a really nice hourglass shape it's gonna like look really nice on them but I don't know it might give you more of an illusion that you have a like lower part because that's so elongated i'm not sure also the prep style i feel like this surface is like like every year honestly but the prep style is going to be in um so a lot of the you know kind of schoolgirl vibes skirts um the polo shirts the socks with the loafers things like that that prep school style is really just always prevalent i feel like and it's going to be in 2024 especially um and yeah i feel like i incorporate this a lot already into my style obviously with the skirts um i don't have a good pair of loafers and i kind of do want some like i like the mesa margella loafers those are really cute um so that's kind of like the flat style that i would like to participate in and like polo shirts i don't really have too many of them i like a good button down though so maybe thinking of looking into like a good polo polo shirt or polo style shirt that may not be like the typical i think i saw um a girl I think her name was like something wolf she like had this uh, outfit and it was so so cute and I felt like it was like the perfect kind of prep vibe for me like that's something that I would definitely wear it's enough of girly enough of edgy but it was so cute hopefully I can put it on the screen to show you guys what I'm talking about there are also a few colors that people are projecting for the 2024 gear which is millennial pink which is like that more pastel pink I think it's gonna be a lot of that um, not the super hard like pink <laughs> That we've been seeing another color is like green more of the limeish green not super lime green but this i have a pair of pants that show the hanifa pants are like perfect like it's kind of muted more muted not too like lime how we were doing it a few years ago where it was like ooh in your face this is more like a toned down lime um that goes good with like it goes good with red it goes good with darker greens as well um i paired it with like purple let me show you here's the color that i'm referring to like this kind of lime ish i don't even know if this is called lime but this is like the type of green that we're looking for it's almost like a yellowish as well um so yeah and also like a deeper 
kind of traditional green as well. That's going to be in for 2024, which is such a really cool color. I like it. Sometimes I just wore a sweater from, um, it's like a Hanifa dupe, and I love that kind of colorway. So that's what we're going to be looking for in 2024. Um, I think red is still going to be definitely trickling in as well. We're kind of like scaling off of the red. I think blue. <laughs> like, I don't know why, but I, I'm gravitating towards blue like recently too, like a deeper like navies kind of blue. I don't know maybe maybe <laughs> so yeah we'll see what's gonna happen in 2024 let me know if this video was helpful for you guys if these are any of the trends that you're gonna participate in and how you're gonna how do you think you're gonna incorporate these trends into your closet um i would love to know <laughs> so yeah comment down below and let me know also don't forget to follow me on all my social media links i'm super active on instagram tiktok you can follow me down there and i'll see you guys in my next video also let me know what you want to see on youtube i always love to hear feedback from you guys so i can you know continue to make videos and know exactly what you want to see so yeah i'll see you guys next time bye